Since the EF4 tornado in March, the city's road to recovery has been slow. I was able to talk to a woman who survived the storm about the challenges she has been facing. You know, having to come in here every day, there's no windows to look out of, no room for your daughter to play. You can't cook. Confined to four walls for four months at Rolling Fork Motel, 22-year-old Brianna Oaks, her boyfriend, and their one-year-old are facing homelessness. It's stressful and it's, it's depressing. Less than two months left before their Red Cross temporary housing ends. They're trying to figure out what's next. The tree fell across the house up against the bathroom door that we were at and you saw the roof come off and then you just, he felt boards hitting him in the head. These new homeowners merely surviving the high level tornado that destroyed their home and the entire city of Rolling Fork on March 24th. We were new to this house. We had only been in the house for a couple months. It's been difficult for them to build their lives back. And the latest setback, they say recently came from FEMA. Oak says she got a call from FEMA about an apartment reserved for her family, but that newfound hope crushed. They called me back a couple days later and told me that they gave it to somebody else. I asked to speak to the supervisor and she called me back and you know we were talking about the situation and she said well you should just be grateful to have a roof over your head. FEMA representative Jim Homstad saying he cannot speak on Oak's situation specifically. We're very uh, dedicated uh, to working those those lists of eligible applicants. They've become eligible and we want to get, get them into housing. Emphasizing how necessary it is for tornado survivors to stay close to their phones during their recovery process. Very important. We ask them to try to answer their phones and to call back uh, when FEMA calls. FEMA says they have given $12.4 million in disaster grants for almost 4,000 Mississippians since the tornado. They also have an enhanced applicant service program that extends extra outreach to the applicants who have difficulty filling out their applications. And we're, we're not going anywhere. Uh, we're, we're still here. We're on the ground. Though Brianna Oaks is still seeking guidance for her next steps. I've, I've been on my phone every day trying to find something. He's applying to jobs everywhere. We can't get answers for anything. Her daughter, the only thing that's helping her push through the pain. She's the only reason I've kept going. FEMA representatives say if you have applied for assistance, unknown numbers may call you, so make sure you answer or give them a call back. Brooklyn Joiner, 16 WAPT News.